What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. As you can see, I got some ginormous boxes here on the table and I have one question to ask. Are you ready to see an amazing display case? If so, stay tuned. Let's get this started. All right, as you can see, we've got two massive boxes here at the table. Uh, these boxes are actually from the company The Brick Case, and they graciously sent me these. I actually hooked up with them at Atlanta Comic Con. Uh, a couple years ago, I did a review of another one of their cases, and it's still up at the toy table, and it's there every single day. I keep it on. I've got my Kiss Funko Pops in it, but... I saw this one and uh, I'll sit down and talk to him and this thing is it's it's amazing. It's a beautiful piece. I was surprised to see it and I think, no, actually I know it has a place for a lot of collectors like me that don't have detoffs or don't have anywhere to put detoffs or just maybe want something different to display their six scale figures. You can also use this for other things, but primarily uh, this will be used for six scale figures for me. And uh, yeah, it's amazing. So to get a little bit into it, uh, it comes in two pieces. Uh, this piece here is actually a riser that actually you can use with the main display case. Uh, if you did the display case, you could probably do uh, six, maybe six hot toys, maybe a little bit more give or take. When you add the riser, you double it. So let's say you had six, you can go to 12 with the actual riser installed. So I tell you what guys, next step, I gotta get some cloth laid down because I wanna protect it. We need to start opening this thing up. So uh, yeah, let's get it open. All right, so I went ahead and took it out of the outer box. There was lots of packing, styrofoam, well, well done job on the old packing. So let's, uh, let's see what else we got going on here. All right. Oh yeah. Uh, this is actually the riser. We'll look at that here in a second. Uh, we got a little parts bag. We got some instructions. All right. Very nice. Okay. Got some more styrofoam. Put that there. I got a feeling. All right, this is the actual base right here. All right. I may need to readjust. I don't know yet. All right, now we got the actual glass components. As you can see, very well packaged. I think we can uh, get rid of the actual box now. Nice. That is a heavy box. It's crazy heavy. Now let's see. One more piece. One more piece. Wow, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. A lot going on. Uh, the riser, get that unboxed. That's what I, uh, one thing I did notice, the riser is actually really similar to the, uh, to the one that I used uh, with the smaller case. And also, I'll definitely link everything to this case in the description, so definitely check that out. Ooh, man. All right, first things first, uh, instructions. Instructions are great. Oh, man. Uh, and I'm definitely gonna do a, uh, probably gonna do a time lapse on the assembly. Just, just because, uh, but I wanted to show you some of the key things about brick case that I love. We'll get the, the base undone here. 
You're definitely going to have plenty of packing material when you're done. <laughs> All right, so here's the thing that's cool about brick case. They have built-in LED lights right here. And when I was talking to them at Atlanta Comic Con, the uh, technology for their uh, lights has actually changed, and they actually have a pure daylight. Uh, where before, it was a little cooler, uh, these actually are daylight, so it should make for some amazing lighting, but look at this. Then you actually can take the riser and place it like so, and voila, now you have a dual perspective on your actual uh, figure. So I tell you what, guys, I'm going to look over the instructions. So I'm going to separate everything, and we'll come back. I'll talk a little bit more about the pieces, and then we'll get to building. All right, we got the pieces out. Um, just wanted to go over a few of the key points uh, with this actual product. All right, so basically in a nutshell, you, you're going to have your base. You're going to have two of the side panels, or front and back, and then two side panels and then a top piece. All of the pieces are basically like laser cut. They actually are keyed like so. You've got uh, these slots, tongue and grooves. So uh, getting them actual to line up, not that big of a process. It's actually relatively simple. One of the things I noticed from the previous one that I've got uh, it actually comes with an alignment tool or a hook tool. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, you also have your power. It actually comes with the USB-C and the actual plug for AC, but you can actually use this with a power bank as well. So that's a nice little option. So yeah, uh, another thing, it comes with gloves. So when you're handling this thing, I don't know if they're gonna fit me, but when you handle this thing, uh, help eliminate fingerprints, I think that's a nice touch. But the tedious part of this whole thing is removing the film. Both sides have film. There's film on the base. And it even says in the instructions, this is going to be time consuming. So this is where we're going to hit the time lapse. We'll get everything peeled. Then I'm going to start putting everything together. Then when it's all done, we'll come back and uh, we'll show it to you. So let's go. together look at this thing wow such an awesome awesome case um, and again my purposes I mean this will fit hot toys figures but you can use them for anything but primarily a uh, hot toys sideshow um, I've got the riser in place and this is just it's wicked cool uh, also power block right there and it also comes with a really well done uh, six foot USB to USB C uh, power cable. Like I said earlier, you can run this thing off of a uh, standard uh, outlet or a power bank. All right, at the back of it on the same side as the switch is where you plug in your USB C. Let's get this plugged in. Then we'll, uh, we'll get some power going to this thing and see what happens. All right. All right. Here we go. Boom. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. This is beautiful, beautiful display. 
Uh, still need to adjust the lights a little bit, but you can't really adjust the lights until after you get figures in it. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the next step. I'm going to go get some of my Star Wars figures. We're going to put them in here, and we're going to check this bad boy out. All right, we're done. Check this thing out. Still got my white gloves on. Um, wow, brick case. This is amazing. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you can do so much with this thing. Like, for me, like, uh, just for purposes of showing you the dynamic of the case, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten uh, hot toys in here. And I could, the Praetorian Guards, I mean, they, you well, know, the big, you know, yeah, big weapon. Uh, you know, anyway. Um, but you can see, you can have some fun with this. If you don't use the riser, you can do some really cool dynamic poses. Um, there's plenty of room in this thing. To, you can just have some fun with this on your collection. Uh, I, I dig this thing. Uh, this is literally the first opportunity I've had to actually display. And I've been waiting on something like this. This is, this is a win. I love this. So, uh, yeah. Rip case, thank you so much. Uh, definitely let me know in the comments what you think about this particular case. Again, I will put all the information on this particular case. I'll put links on their website, the whole nine yards. And they have various sizes of cases, the from small to large. Uh, they're working on some new products as well, but yeah, I'm excited for this now. Yeah, but you can see what I'm talking about. This gives you something other than a detox. You could actually, you know, put this on a, a bigger table. You could uh, be very, very creative. And again, that's a lot of hot toys that you can display. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I'm definitely wanting to, uh, to use the, the clones. I uh, also have some normal stormtroopers. Um, you know, I've got my Sith trooper in here. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. This is, uh, this is new territory for me. So, uh, yeah, but I dig it. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Definitely let me know in the comments what you think. And, uh, yeah, guys, I love it. I think this is a really nice addition. I think you could have some really, uh, a lot of fun with this. And you're just not limited to hot toys. Like I said earlier, you could do legends. You, you can do anything in a case like this, Legos, uh, whatever you want to do, but. Uh, that's it. Brick case. Awesome product. Awesome, awesome product. And thank you once again for allowing me to review this product. Uh, but that's it, guys. We're done. Now I got to try to figure out what's going on. But how I'm going to display it. Am I going to leave it like this? I don't know. But we're going to find out. And once I do figure it out, I'll definitely post pictures on uh, social media. But, man, I love it. Also, if this is your first time to my channel and if you enjoy the content, please hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on, that way you'll know when I drop videos. And one last thing, always remember toys and display cases for your toys refreshes your soul and I'll see you next time.